First at five, some state leaders finally breaking their silence on the latest hiccup in the Pawtucket Soccer Stadium project. Thank you for joining us. I'm Mike Montecalvo. And I'm Shannon Heggie. Target 12 broke the story on Wednesday that city officials would be holding off on issuing $27 million for the Tidewater Landing Project. Today we heard from two of the major players, Governor Dan McKee and State Senator Sandra Cano, who is also Pawtucket's Economic Development Director. Matt Paddock is live in Pawtucket now with the latest developments. Hi, Matt. Well, Mike Shannon, state leaders are optimistic. The project here behind me will be moving forward, but it's unclear how long the money will last. Construction continues here at Tidewater Landing, the projected future home of minor league soccer team Rhode Island FC. But this week, Target 12 revealed that the controversial stadium could be dealing with some financing issues, with the city hitting the pause button on issuing $27 million in public bonds. You know, interest rate climbs and that type of thing, it does impact, uh, you know, uh, projects like this. But I have full confidence, talked to Brett Johnson yesterday, I got full confidence that this project is going to move forward. Brett Johnson and Fortuitous Partners so far have poured in nearly $25 million into the 10,000 seat stadium. But nobody is saying how long that money will last, making it unclear how long construction can continue. McKee acknowledging hiccups, stating for now it will not deter them from pushing forward. The state of Rhode Island is ready to keep its commitments. The developer is as well, uh, and, and the city of Pawtucket. So those three combinations are going to make sure that this project happens. If it gets delayed because of what you just said, Steve, in terms of market conditions, then so be it. Senator Sandra Cano, who heads economic development for the city of Pawtucket, weighing in for the first time, saying the timing isn't right for taxpayers. The most important thing is that taxpayers are being protected, and, and that is the reason why uh, the city uh, put a pause on the financing. Well, I think that because of the market conditions, we want to make sure that the public financing and the private debt come together in the capital stack to make sure that we move forward at the same time. Now there's no timeline for when the deal will be done, but as you heard from Governor McKee there, he is confident that it will carry on. Reporting live from Pawtucket, Matt Paddock, 12 News. An update tonight on a story the Target 12 investigators broke earlier this week. Tonight we're hearing from the governor and a state senator about the money crunch for the planned soccer stadium in Pawtucket. As Target 12 first reported on Wednesday, the city has decided to hold off on issuing millions of dollars in public bonds for the project. 12 News reporter Matt Paddock joins us now live from the Tidewater landing site in Pawtucket with the follow up. Matt. Well, Mike Shannon, as you can see here behind me, construction is still underway here at Tidewater Landing. And while state leaders are optimistic that the project will move forward, it's unclear how much money will be left. On Wednesday, Target 12 first broke the news that the minor league soccer stadium in Pawtucket is facing major money problems. And today we heard from Governor Dan McKee for the first time, asking when Rhode Island would be ready to move forward with $27 million in bonds to help fund the stadium. In order for the deal to close, both the city and state and the developer must close on their debt financing at the same time. If the developer was ready to close on its private debt today, would the state be ready? Like I said last night, I'm, 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 I have a great deal of confidence that this project is going to uh, happen. McKee says he's been in contact with Brett Johnson and Fortuitous Partners, who have so far poured in nearly $25 million into the 10,000-seat stadium. So far, nobody is saying how long that money will last, making it unclear how long construction can continue. I got confidence that this project is going to go through. Uh, Brett Johnson is, you know, uh, certainly determined to make that happen. And but there's no timeline for when the deal will close, which leaders attribute to inflation, rising interest rates, and the global pandemic. The state of Rhode Island is ready to keep its commitments. The developer is as well, uh, and, and the city of Pawtucket. So those three combinations are going to make sure that this project happens. If it gets delayed because of what you just said, Steve, in terms of market conditions, then so be it. State Senator Sandra Cano, who heads economic development for the city of Pawtucket, also weighing in for the first time, saying the timing isn't right for taxpayers. The most important thing is that taxpayers are being protected, and, and that is the reason why uh, the city uh, put a pause on the financing. I think that because of the market conditions, we want to make sure that the public financing and the private debt come together in the capital stack to make sure that we move forward at the same time. When asked on Newsmaker today if taxpayers would have to put more money into the stadium, the senator responded with there's no inclination of that at this time. Reporting live from Pawtucket, Matt Paddock, 
12 News.